everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sevim. Today we are going to practice on ABS again and we are going to practice machine learning. We are going to build uh, a dynamic conversational boot and this is part one. So um, let's start. We are going to use Amazon Lex and create a build conversation about that understands our request and ask for more input if needed. If all required slots have been filled, the bot will ask for confirmation before triggering an action. We are going to create the bot using Amazon Lex through the Amazon Management Console, AVS Management Console, and configure our bot to receive product order requests and assist us if needed. So let's go and see how it's going to work. I'm going to just sign into the lab. And the lab is ready. I'm going to open the console and I'm going to take it down as always because I need to see two pages. And now I can easily move between pages. So I'm just going to go to um, click on Amazon Lex first. Lex, open Amazon Lex. It's warning me to make sure make sure that you are in the v1 console so i just clicked on going back to v1 now i can just start creating okay so it's going to show like this okay custom boot boot name language us and output voice none text based application session time out five minutes okay sentiment analysis no this one should be no okay okay so now we are going to click create. Now all, we are on intent page. Click create intent, maybe. Click. This will create a boot and will redirect you to the boot configuration page. Okay. We are going to create intent now. On the add intent, um, search existing intent. Okay, Amazon help intent. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so I just selected. Click add. Okay. Uh, in the left navigation pane, error, error handling. We are going to clarification prompt box enter clarification prompts. What would you like to do? And at this one, plus button, but change, change maximum number of retries to two. Two. Click save. Yeah. Okay. And then in the left navigation pane next to intent, click plus. Intent here. Giving unique name to the new intent. Create intent. Order product. Add. After adding, 
In the left navigation pane, click all the product. And at the sample, sample, each one into the sample, this samples by clicking plus ice cream. I'd like to order an ice cream. I'd like to order chocolate ice cream. I would like to order five cups of chocolate ice cream. Send me five cups of chocolate ice cream. Okay. This should all be there. Create your own slot types. Ice cream, highlight ice cream. This should be edited as well. Okay, once we highlight ice cream, uh, sample you sample, um, highlight ice cream in one of the sample utterances and then create slot with new slot type. Add slot, custom slot type, built in slot type. Mm, so it's a little create slot with new slot type. Let me see again. Ah, it's here. I need it to be down a little bit. So this is product type, uh, car type, slot type name. Value and uh, here is the value frozen yogurt ice cream. Add slot to intent. Okay, then if mm, this didn't work, it only worked for ice for this one. It didn't show I need to do it again create slot with new slot type ice cream ice cream create so it's product type okay Value add frozen yogurt. I think this was added. Oh, no, not added. Oh, here it doesn't say ice. Frozen yogurt. Okay. Add slot to intent. Let me see now. Product type, uh, okay. This already exists. Uh, let me see if I can delete the slot one product type. Can I change it from somewhere? I'm going to delete this one from here and try it again. Now, go that side. Okay, frozen yogurt here. Add slot to intent. Okay, it's already showing again. Let's try one more time. Product type. Frozen yogurt. It's under value and
update product that you must specify check. Uh, I need to maybe try to do that again. If I don't save that, let me try if I go back and don't save it. If it's exit editor, okay, it's already saved. It's too late. No slots added. Let me try again. Type frozen root ice cream should already be there. This will replace all existing ice cream strings to slot one. Okay, so let me add another E and try like this. Didn't replace all of them, but only one, and I don't know why. So I'm just going to try again. Okay. So let me try slot one. Use available slot. Okay, this is how I selected, so might be easier. Okay, so product type. Okay, this one is already showing here. With another E, this one is okay. I don't know if I can delete this one, but let's just keep as it is here. Okay, let's continue. Product type. So this one shows product type slot one. Uh, this one is slot type slot one, and uh, ice cream not labeled as slot one. If the other instances of ice cream are not labeled as slot one, highlight each one, select slot one in the slot select section, rename slot one. Okay, this is what we could have done. Oh, in the slot section below, rename slot product type. Slot section here. This is going to work. Okay, product type. And ensure that required box is selected. Here is selected. Sample. Uh, there is the sample. Sample here. Sample it is highlight chocolate. Chocolate. Create new product flavor. Okay, this is product flavor, add slot type, vanilla and strawberry. Add value and strawberry. Add, add slot intent. Okay, chocolate is not highlighted. Let me see. Um, it should show, but it doesn't. Um, this one is slot 2, selected, slot 2, okay. If it's not marked, so this one of, of only marked one. Product flavor, I hope I didn't miss anything here. Lambda, initialization, validation, product type. Okay, in sample... Uh, Amazon number. I like the number five here. Add another one. It's going to be number. Um, it 
seven highlight the number five in the search box enter sample cancel select and create sample amazon number amazon number here amazon number select this one okay you are not creating the just using the one we have okay so now this is showing slot section rename slot 3 order quantity uh, slot 3 order quantity and the other one is product flavor just let me take here product flavor oops my one is not showing the colors Hope it works. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to work because it's not showing the colors. What do you think? Shall I just type the name maybe? Product flavor. And this was going to be order quantity okay. quantity is quantity longer version okay all set up now select all of them required Required bugs or the product should consist three custom slots. Detect product flavor and order quantity. Add prompts to your slots. So on the slot section, click settings icon. On the slot section, settings icon. Okay, product type. Um, then this opens new configuration window prompts clicking what would you like to order prompts here what would you like to order at that what kind of product would you like to order remove the default what city this is going to be removed and then corresponding I would like to order product type corresponding here and then product type maximum entries to and click save. So for the next one slots um, product flavor we are going to ask which product type uh, corresponding not corresponding prompt let's, let's remove that I'd like to order corresponding here okay product flavor and now save the other one again how many cups of product flavor can order quantity from here at what city needs to be deleted and how many cups of product flavor here okay and entering each of the corresponding box at a time at the following corresponding uterus by uh, how it's going to work? Sorry. Mm. And the following corresponding uterus uterances by entering each um, one at a time.
So this needs to be changed, I guess. How many product flavor? How many? Product flavor, which one did I? How many cups of product flavor, product type? How many cups of product type? It's like to order and this one is like I like to order cups um corresponding oh this one is wrong I have done it wrong at this one Add this one and now this one. Okay. Click now. We can click save. I guess save. Expand confirmation confirmation prompt. Confirmation prompt. Click confirm on the confirmation. That okay, now we are going to save the intent. Uh, build and test your boat. Build, failed product type already exists. If you are trying to update product type, you must specify checks. Oh, okay. Um, because I used um, another name here, it didn't match. Did I? Shall I try this one now? Let me see what's wrong here. Let's see if I can add the great slope type. Type. Product type. It's just here, ice cream, I think. And something flavor, product mm, flavor was strawberry. No, product type frozen yogurt. Okay, save. Okay, um, let me try again. My value doesn't match the source name product flavor. Product flavor, product type. Let me try again. Is there a way I can delete these product types?
let me try to go back and see what's happening again I'm going to go back and see the slot types I don't see the slot types okay now I can see the slot types it's refreshed this one doesn't show let me see now I think um, just refreshing uh, it was good to refresh the page going back so it can update itself uh, that's why it works this time built successfully so we are going to test boot here um, test test chat box test chat box my okay so why did i get, go back ready actions no so it was built now i'm going to go on the right side of lex console look to test box window if text box window doesn't appear click test chat box to expand the test box window Amazon Lex text intent actions I can't see the test no I'm going to go and try to click on build again. Uh, it's build. Ah, oh, here I see it now. Okay, it disappeared. Build complete. So, what I need to ask now, Sora, I could not. Is this the one? Check error handling, sending few random strings. Sorry, admin, admin, what would you like to do? Uh, yeah, right. Read that. Okay. Sorry, I did not understand. Goodbye. Ask your bot to support by sending help. help. Intent help ready for fulfillment. Okay. Finally, test the order product intent. Which ice cream flavor would you like to order? Because product flavor coins are not filled at this stage, the bot should prompt you to fill them. Chocolate. How many cups? Ice cream. Additionally, after filling all the slots, the bot should prompt you for an uh, order confirmation as configured in task 5. If you answer the confirmation prompt, no, your intent never reaches the ready for performance state. Okay, let's say 7. Are you sure you want to order 7 cups of chocolate? No. Your order, let's say A. Okay, so he, we need to I like to order ice cream. Uh, strawberry. Oh, baby. Let's say six now. Yes. 
order product is ready for fulfillment. Let's say thanks. Okay, it goes back. That was all for today. I will see you in my next video. Bye.